After pattern definition, etching transfers those patterns into the underlying material. Etching selectively removes exposed regions while protected areas remain intact. Two main categories exist, wet etching using liquid chemical solutions and dry etching using plasmas or energetic ions. The critical attributes are selectivity, preferentially removing one material over another, and directionality, controlling whether the process is isotropic or anisotropic. Wet etching is generally isotropic, while dry etching can achieve vertical, well-defined side walls essential for nanoscale electronics. In wet etching, the wafer is immersed in a liquid chemical etchant that reacts with the exposed material to dissolve it into solution. Because the reaction proceeds equally in all directions, the resulting profile is rounded and may undercut the resist. Wet etching is simple, inexpensive and offers high removal rates, useful for many macro or microscopic uh, steps. Common examples include hydrofluoric acid for SiO2, KOH or TMAH for silicon and acid mixtures such as nitric acid or aquaresia for metals. Its limitations are poor directionality and limited control, making it unsuitable for features that require sharp vertical edges. Dry etching uses plasmas and ion bombardment to achieve anisotropic, controllable profiles. In plasma etching, reactive neutral species chemically attack the surface. In reactive ion etching, RIE, ions are accelerated toward the wafer by an electric field, physically sputtering atoms and assisting chemical reactions at the surface. Variants such as deep RIE, also known as Bosch process, create high aspect ratio trenches while inductively coupled plasma RIE allows higher plasma densities and precise depth control. Dry etching provides the resolution and verticality needed for integrated circuits, MEMS and nanophotonic structures, through, though it involves high equipment cost and potential ion-induced damage. To highlight the comparison, wet etching is a chemical process that removes material isotropically, equally in all directions. It is simple, fast and inexpensive, making it ideal for large area processing where extreme precision is not essential. Dry etching, particularly reactive ion etching RIE, relies on energetic ions and reactive species to achieve anisotropic profiles with vertical side walls. This directional control allows for the definition of extremely fine patterns at the nanoscale. When combined with lithography, etching techniques enable the fabrication of MEMS and NEMS components, semiconductor transistors, metal interconnects, and nanostructured optical or catalytic surfaces. Together, these processes provide the precision required to sculpt materials at nanometer dimensions forming the complex architectures that underpin today's advanced technologies.